and welcome as we begin our day with prayer. Our celebrant today is Father Owen Rooney. Please stand then as we pray in song. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on us. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on us. Melt us, mold us, fill us, you the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, everyone. Morning. And welcome as we gather here to celebrate our early morning Mass. Let us now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Children, be obedient to your parents in the Lord. That is your duty. The first commandment that has a promise attached to it is, honor your father and mother. And the promise is, and you will prosper and have a long life in the land. And parents, never drive your children to resentment, but in bringing them up, correct them and guide them as the Lord does. Slaves, be obedient to the men who are called your masters in this world with deep respect and sincere loyalty as you are obedient to Christ. Not only when you are under their eye as if you had only to please men, but because you are slaves of Christ and wholeheartedly do the will of God. Work hard and willingly but do it for the sake of the Lord and not for the sake of men. You can be sure that everyone, whether a slave or a free man, will be properly rewarded by the Lord for whatever work he has done well. And those of you who are employers, treat your slaves in the same spirit. Do without threats, remembering that they and you have the same master in heaven and he is not impressed by one person more than by another. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is faithful in all his words. The Lord <clears throat> is faithful in all his words. All your creatures shall thank you, O Lord, and your friends shall repeat their blessing. They shall speak of the glory of your reign and declare your might, O God, to make known to men your mighty deeds and the glorious splendor of your reign. The Lord is faithful in all his words. Yours is an everlasting kingdom. Your rule lasts from age to age. The Lord is faithful in all his words. The Lord is faithful in all his words and loving in all his deeds. The Lord supports all who fall and raises all who are bowed down. The Lord is faithful in all his words. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. 
I am the way, the truth, and the life, says the Lord. No one can come to the Father except through me. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Through towns and villages, Jesus went teaching, making his way to Jerusalem. Someone said to him, Sir, will there be only a few saved? He said to them, Try your best to enter by the narrow door, because I tell you, many will try to enter and will not succeed. Once the master of the house has got up and locked the door, you may find yourself knocking on the door, saying, Lord, open to us. But he will answer, I do not know where you come from. Then you will find yourself saying, We once ate and drank in your company. You taught in our streets. But he will reply, I do not know where you come from. Away from me, all you wicked men. Then there will be weeping and grinding of teeth when you see Abraham and Isaac and Jacob and all the prophets in the kingdom of God and yourselves turned outside. And men from east and west, from north and south, will come to take their places at the feast in the kingdom of God. Yes, there are those last who will be first, and those now first who will be last. My dear brothers and sisters, this is the gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> In today's gospel, someone asked Jesus, will only a few be saved? This question may sound familiar because many of us have wondered the same thing. We may hear people talk about being saved and feel a mix of hope, worry, and even fear. Sometimes we wonder if we are good enough to be accepted by God or if our mistakes and imperfections might somehow disqualify us. It's natural to worry about these things. But where does that worry come from? Often it comes from a fear that we have to be perfect or that our past choices have somehow closed the door on God's love. Maybe we feel guilty about things we have done, ways we may have hurt others, or decisions that took us in directions we now regret. We can end up feeling unworthy or not good enough for God's love. The beautiful message of Jesus is that God doesn't demand perfection from us. Jesus knows that we are human, that we make mistakes, that we sometimes lose our way. He understands that life is full of struggles and temptations, and he knows how hard it can be to make the right choices every time. But none of this keeps Jesus from loving us. He isn't looking for a flawless person. He is looking for someone willing to turn back to him no matter how many times we have stumbled. Jesus' invitation to come home isn't an, a one-time offer. He constantly invites us back, no matter how far we feel we have strayed. His love is endless, patient, and forgiving. Each time we turn back to him, he welcomes us with open arms. Jesus knows our weaknesses. 
and our pain, and He meets us in those places, reminding us that His love is bigger than our biggest mistakes. So, my dear brothers and sisters, we each have a choice to make. Jesus stands at the door, calling us, waiting for us to respond. What will we choose? We don't have to be perfect. We just have to be willing. And when we choose Him, even in our imperfections, we discover that Jesus gives us new chances every day. In Him, we find peace, hope, and the strength to keep moving forward, one step at a time, through the narrow door that leads us closer to God. Amen. Sweep over my soul, sweep over my soul, sweet spirit, sweep over my soul. My rest is complete when I sit at your feet, sweet spirit, sweep over my soul. Sweep over my soul, sweep over my soul, sweet spirit, sweep over my soul. My rest is complete when I sit at your feet, sweet spirit, sweep over my soul. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine and walk of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands to the praise and glory of his name for our good, the good of all his holy church. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, His resurrection we confess with living faith, and His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise You as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of Your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Alan our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And also with you. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. My dear brothers and sisters, behold the Lamb of God, Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as being already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. I, the Lord of sea and sky, I have heard my people cry, all who dwell in dark and sin, my hand will save. I who made the stars of night, I will make their darkness bright. Who will bear my light to them? Whom shall I send? Here I am, Lord. Is it I, Lord? I have heard you calling in the night. I will go. If you lead me, I will hold your people in my heart. Let us pray. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in science, we may one day possess in truth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be, to God. be to God. The bell of the angels calls us to pray in sweet tones announcing the sacred Ave. Ave. God's blessing to those you meet.